Hello, and welcome to Controllers Tech. A lot of you guys requested this, so today I am starting the Touch GFX series for SDM32. I guess you have already tried some experiments with the Touch GFX, and you already know how to create a project for your board. So I will just keep this video to the point, where I will connect the GFX to our own code. This is the first video in the series, and today we will see how to toggle the LED, using the button on the display. So let's start the Touch GFX Designer. Click Create, and choose your board. If you are doing this first time, you will need an internet connection, or else it won't show anything. I am using STM32 F750 Discovery Board. Give the name to the project, and click Create. Alright we got our blank project. There are a lot of things here, which we will cover in the future videos. Today we will start with the simple image. Let's add the image to our display. If you click on the image, you will get its properties on the right. Like, the name, its location, etc. To add the image, click this image, and select from here. If you don't have any image, you can choose from the preloaded backgrounds. They are available for pretty much every size. Or else, click add and choose the image. The image should be in the ping format. I already have one created for backgrounds. So this will be our background image, and now we will add a button on the display. I am adding this toggle button, as we are going to toggle the LED. Here are the properties for this button. You can choose the style here. Or how will it look if pressed, or released. Let's keep the default state to pressed. So it will be in on state by default. Alright the button has been created. Now what will happen, when we press this button? Well we need to define that, and to do that, we will add the interaction. This interaction will trigger, when the button is clicked. The button is this one, that we created just now. In the action, you can choose whatever action you want, but for toggling the LED, we will call a new virtual function, which we will define later in the code. The name for the function, let's keep it toggle LED. Interaction name, let's keep it same. So that's it for the design part. Click here to generate the code. Let's open the files. This is the Touch GFX folder, we will go back to project, and open the cube IDE. Inside the application, user, we have our main file. Here the generated folder is generated based on our setup, and we can't modify these. The GUI folder is where we can write our code for the application. We will check these in a while, let's open the CubeMX setup first. This setup is configured for QSBR flash, SDRAM, display library, and other things. Here we will just add the things we need. For example, here in this project, I want to control the LED, so set the LED pin as output. There is no onboard LED on this board, but here you can see, pin PK3 is the display backlight control pin. So I will control this with the button I just created. This pin is already set as output, so I don't need to configure anything. 
Let's go back to our project. Screen 1 view base is where the code is generated for the elements on the screen. Here is the image, and this is the button we created. The button calls the button callback, which further calls the toggle LED function. Like I said earlier, we can't do any modification in these files, so we will copy this function, and we will modify this in other file. Open the screen one view. Now open the header file. Here we have to add the function first. So add the virtual void toggle LED. Save it, and go back to the source file. Here we will write the code for the function. This is defined in class screen one view. Before we write the code to toggle the LED, let's run the project once. You can see the toggle button, and the default state is on. So the toggle button is working well, let's go back to the project. Here first we will get the state of the toggle button. If the state is true, we will turn on the LED. Else, the LED will be off. Let's build it once. We got some error about the whole functions. Include the whole library according to your board. And now everything is fine. Let's flash it to the board again. You can see, the display is turning off, and it only turns on when I tap the button again. So we were able to toggle the LED using the button on the display. There is one more thing I want to confirm here. Let's try to run the simulator. Well we can't. The reason is that we are using some code which depends on external factors, like the whole code. So let's exclude all the whole related code from the file, and now try to run the simulator. It runs OK now. If you write a code, that depends on any other variable, which is external to the generated files, the simulator cannot run. We will see more to this in the near future. This is it for the video. I hope you understood the process for controlling the LED using the button. The next video will cover the counter on the display, and how to change the value of this counter using various methods. The code is very big, so I will only upload the necessary files. You can download it from the description. Leave comments in case of any doubt. Keep watching, and have a nice day ahead.